Hello everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 21.2. It is, of course, now Horde Day. So I've been thinking about what we're going to do to keep them at bay, because obviously, uh, on day, well, even on day 7, really, cobblestone just barely was enough. So what I did was, I had 47 concrete, so I upgraded that one to concrete, so if they stack, if, when they stack up, they hopefully won't get through. And then I upgraded these three here. So that's a total of 40, and we're just going to hope that the new pump shotgun, hey, fluffy, and our uh, 762 is going to hold us through, and if, and almost certainly, when they get through, this probably won't last long being, uh, what do you call it, either, so what I think I'm going to do is set up a third fallback point. I've got a bunch of stuff crafting, is my, yes it is, all right. I made another workbench for now because I need to make more ammunition. Only 79, but you know what? 79, 79. Uh, you know what? That's fine since we're probably going to be almost exclusively doing that. Get some iron in there. I did farm up quite a chunk of oh, of coal and nitrate at the trader last night after I bought the gun, the shotgun. There was a coal note right outside his entrance. So I farmed up a stack of each of those. So now we got plenty of stuff in the making. And I forgot once again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a temporary... Uh, I don't know. Definitely... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my... Please don't do that. Is that going to take eight minutes? Yeah, we need to make some iron. So we're going to basically set up another uh, base here, or another whatever you want to call it. I have made it so they can now get from down there if they fall. They can climb up. So we're going to make this another... Oop, another fallback point. I can ever... No. It's not going to be great, but it's, it's just going to have to be. I kind of feel like that doesn't really be there. So this episode's probably going to be a little bit long, as most Horde Day videos are. I'm trying not to cut out too much of the Horde Day like I usually do. As I know some of you guys are like me and you do like to see. You know what? Down there. Rotation. Oop. Wait, no. Oh, never mind. Yep, that is correct. Oh. Oh. Realized I got that wrong. Oop, not that. There we go. Shoot. Now, at least it doesn't take long. Meant to do was, yes, indeed. Same as this one. See, what it is, is there's a little lip here. And that's kind of what I'm using to double up the defenses, essentially. That, I want something I can shoot through. That is... The idea being, if they get through... Honestly, it's not much of an if, it's a win. They do come to the side here. I will be able to blaze them. Now, I can't put anything here because that's where the ladder is, but... Don't need it. So, copy shape, copy rotation. Whoa, I must have hit the roof. I totally did. That's okay. A copy rotation. Now, originally, I wasn't too worried about them getting through here. I was just going to let them go. But my concern is, obviously, they're not going to collapse any of this. But I don't want them down there where I can't shoot them during Horde Night, and I really don't feel like trying to jump down there to fight them, so I figured 
just for the Horde Knight, not like these here. The reason I haven't upgraded these to Conqueror or Cobblestone is because after the Horde Knight, I want to get rid of these. I don't want them being able to get up and out. And it won't be too long. Hopefully by... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it before day 21, but hopefully by day 28, I'll be able to put a solid floor in here, and then this whole under area will be completely blocked off, and I'm going to live down here. That way I'm a little bit further down from the surface. It'll be harder for them to hear me, harder for them to get to me. But until I can close this huge hole here in, they just run in and fall down. That's why I decided not to build here when I actually started to and build up there. So... My main concern right now is if I don't block off their view here, some of them might try to, well, I say some, basically the spider zombies might try to jump over there. And yeah, we can't have that because if they get over there, they're going to start tearing my stuff up. We do not want that. So. This copy shape, copy rotation. And I'm not worried about this stuff being, again, super upgraded because this is all going to probably be torn down. Well, I may not tear it down. When I fill this hole in here to make it this one area, I don't really feel like trying to rip out a bunch of concrete reinforced blocks. So, I probably won't leave this as wood, but I'm definitely not upgrading this stuff to concrete. Not that I have concrete at the moment, but you, you, you understand what I'm saying. So that'll let them get it uh, climb up that will give them a way to get to me and then of course hopefully i can reach it just i think if i put that there yeah that ain't gonna gotta be all right half cube half cube be fine i think not on face there we go. Yep, yeah, now they should be able to... Well, you know what? My luck will be a cop or a, or a biker will show up and then they'll be like, well, we can't walk under that even though there's clearly enough room. Yeah, that'll work. Now these I'm probably going to leave like they are, because if they break through I can just pull them up. Not to mention if those do somehow get screwed up, I can still easily jump over and get through, although that has got to go. That's been driving me crazy forever. Much better. I mean, yeah, I'm still hitting the top of this thing here, as you can see. That is actually a solid top. Usually the doors and stuff are not. Sadly, these are. More shotgun shells. More! I was going to lean into the... Uh, the submachine gun, but... Or, you know what I'm saying. 762, but since now I got the... Good shotgun. I am going to put away my dew collectors. I took them down outside because I don't want them getting destroyed during the horde. It sucks because it means temporarily now I have no water being produced, but... I can live with that. I already have it. I already have it. How much? Four cement mix? Well, it ain't much, but you know what? It's all I got. I really hate that I keep that, but that's fine. Let's go up and repair all the blocks outside. Like you, for example. You can't repair you. Or concrete. I'll be fine. I mean, I, as I said, I, we know they're going to come through this. It, it's, it is not a surprise that the uh, zombies have no issue getting through concrete. Or, well, concrete, yes, but I meant to say um, cobblestone. Let's go ahead and make another iron hatch, because even though, yes, I know, they ain't going to last. I still want... still going to put one there in order to help keep them out. I mean... 
It's only a temporary measure to keep them out, but you know what? I'll take whatever I can get. These are looking good for now. Point and leave oversight up. Now we need to do part that prevents them from getting him. That is going to Nope, not bar centered. Okay, and of course, I'm sure somebody's going to be like, well, how are you going to get in now that you blocked off the escape? Yes, you are right. That is not complicated. I'm just going to make yet another temporary way to get in over here. I'll have to jump, but that will be fine. Oh, yeah. That's... Got to destroy these little things. They're great for letting you have railings, but not so great for uh, trying to build a platform from one side to the other. If you build on the edge of it, it's going to leave a big gap that you can fall through. And as we know... Ooh. Oh, okay, I see now. I was like... That's what I... Hoping they don't get this far, but as we know, you can hope in one hand. Never mind. Oh, yeah, they're probably going to get in, and that's fine. Were I intelligent, I would not have tried to make this my base first and foremost to begin with, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, good. Now we finally got some good stuff. I think what I want to do, I screwed it up, didn't I? kind of did. I meant to do like I did upstairs and here. I was going to put these blocks on the other side of the block, and then here I'd put a door. Well, I can't put, I mean, I could put a door here, but no, they couldn't. I guess that's probably okay. Yeah. I mean, they can't run around it, so yeah, that, that should be fun. Done now with the first item. There we go. Again, I don't intend to really repair this or anything as I was going like I did before. I'm just kind of putting that there so that I can blaze them with the shotgun from with this door open. When they break this, then I can just close this and do like I did before. And Although they can crawl, below, uh, crawl through these, by having the center blocks, it should, you know, like this block concrete in that one even even though they will break these first they they're less likely to crawl through them again less likely not unlikely they will get through but eventually i intend to tear this whole thing down and make like a tower going up and that's where i'm going to put or that's what i'm going to build this to be super defensive and then again i'll also have i'm going to tear all this out as well and have another base defense down there so yeah, a smart person would have waited until they had the materials and the tools to even, like, attempt to live here. But, you know, if you're uh, unless you're new to this channel, you know that's just not how I work. I do try to prepare as much as I can, but typically, yeah, it uh, doesn't always go that well. Don't need that. That. I did bring a buy a lot of yeah as you can see a lot of Molotovs so we will be using those I've got a nice amount of 762 yeah I, I honestly think we're good they're gonna break in that's just the way it is but now we should be and to upgrade those first I 
I'm not worried about upgrading more than that because even if they break that out, once again, unlikely they'll get in. And they can't really stack up here, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yep, I think we're good. I think we are good. Is my door done? Yes, it is. Now, yes, they could obviously walk around, but they can't. I mean, I can do that, but zombies can't, so. If they do break through, I can just quickly do that, and then I can come back, pick these up, do this. And then I guess I'll probably come over here and just... What I think about? I mean, I'm not going to upgrade these. They're temporary, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so advanced. No, no. Advanced rotation. No. This way, if they do fall down there, I or break all, you know, completely destroy all my defenses, which it's always possible, but it, it with the new shotgun, it's highly unlikely. Not only the shotgun, but I do actually have enough ammo that I can safely use the. I can even make a better one now that I think about it. So. I... Right, machine gun. Oh, I need glue, not duct tape. Well, what do you know? I got plenty. Granted, I probably won't use much of it, but... Those things, we're not going to need the... Silencer. Why am I carrying this stupid... out of here. I don't need... Is it really much better? Eh, one and a half damage, that's... I mean, it's not a lot, but every little bit helps. I really have nothing else I can put in this. Ooh! Rocket tube extender, didn't even realize. I don't think you can put an 8x scope on. And... Shouldn't need a rad remover, I'd rather have the cripplum. Plus... Ooh, ha ha ha! All right. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is just... Whoops. I'm just going to continue farming up stuff, crafting stuff, and then I will see you guys since the base is basically ready when the horde shows up. So see you in one second. Okay. Horde is almost here. We are ready. I've gotten everything up as good as I can. All right. Our backup is ready. Our backup to our backup. And the actual backup is ready. I went ahead and I chopped most of this stuff out since I had the whole day. I went and farmed a bunch of materials. We now have all of our stuff ready. Don't... Now this is a simple drop in and out, which is much easier. I also chopped out the rest of the stuff that was around. Well, most of the stuff. Yep, we are good to go. I also expanded the uh, farm a bit. I even had one extra seed that I couldn't plant. So we're looking good. I started a clay farm, as it were, over there with a big old hole in the ground. Because we were out of clay. And now, I think we're about as ready as we can be. Yep, I put up the uh, torches to give us a little bit more light. And I think we're about as good as we can be. If I'm being honest. All right, here they come. Put the shock. Yes, I did. All right. Here we go, fellas. Oops. One thing I absolutely need to get is, of course, a... Uh, electric fence. I did put one point into Machine Gunner, for obvious reasons. Go ahead, fellas, build on up. Aw, oh, you really shouldn't have done that. 
Yeah, they're gonna probably break in at least through one of these defenses, but you know what? I am okay with that. That is kind of the whole point. Beautiful. Definitely glad I bought those Molotovs because they are going to be very, very valuable. Let's get some. Let's get rid of some of the nine mil. <laughs> the dogs burn, baby burn. More? More? Yes, more. You gotta be careful. You don't want to give them too much time or they'll blitz through everything. I know, turkeys. I know you're lonely up there, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do right this moment. Pretty close, and that should do it. Kind of pepper them a little bit. Hey, get down off there. No, you ain't supposed to be up there. Down. That's okay, I don't have any concrete. I left the four whole pieces I had. Have. Downstairs, the concrete, because I don't want to use the four pieces I got. And it isn't like four is going to save one of these blocks anyway, so. I just decided we'll let the concrete go, and what happens, happens. Man, am I ever glad I found that extender mod. Shotgun with tube extender. Get off there. Yep, I definitely think the shotgun, pump shotgun definitely saved our bacon. I do not think, okay, good. I didn't mean to do that, but you know, okay, sure. Oh, there's the ones I'm worried about, the big, oh, there's more than one. Get them. Cook them. RBQ. I know it's... I believe right now, the day of I'm record, the time of recording, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Early in the morning, it's like 5.30, but... I'm not a sports fan, so I don't really care, but... I do enjoy some of the funny commercials like everybody else. Right, so how are we looking? Looking good, looking good. More barbecue? Why, yes, please. All right. See? Ye of little faith. When I saw the Molotovs at the trader along with the shotgun, I, I, I figured we'd be okay, but, you know, things do happen. The biggest issue is just got to make sure I do not forget to repair. As long as I don't forget to repair, we are good. No, no, barbecue. My old nemesis, nope. You can cook, sucker. Now, just think, this is a, like the most basic of horde bases at the moment. Wait till I can tear this down and I can have a drop pit with electric fences and blade traps and dart traps. Not to mention watching them ragdoll and splat the ground because, you know, that's my favorite thing. Yeah, 
we're, we're barely even getting warmed up here. No pun intended. Hey, get down. Get out of there. Killing me having all them stupid birds up there because they're sapping my XP. Every bird that spawns means that's one zombie down here that I can't kill. And if they spawn a lot, then they're going to really quickly take up all the spawn slots for zombies. I am not a fan of... Need to get a vulture defense. Oh boy. Hey, did a number on that sucker, huh? It's February here. Eat you up a little bit. Not that you can probably feel it since you're dead. I don't have any loot and candy. It doesn't really matter if I loot this stuff now or later. Got what you got. Yeah, you can definitely tell when the bigger zombies are bailing, uh, beating on the door. Got to bring any pipes to repair this with, but that's okay. I really thought I was going to need to do a lot more work than I am, but thank you. Sounds to me all we have are the Are you guys really stuck inside? You know what? Let me quick loot this stuff. Take a look at it in a moment, but... That's a vehicle, bunch of food, tools... More food. Thanks. A silencer mod. Yep, we're doing it again. We're good. Low time isn't too long. Normally I'd pause it, but it's only a few seconds. Mount. Dude. More killing. Oh. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, now that I notice. Oh, I don't know what that's about, but okay, whatever. Now well, we don't need to drink, so that's good. That's odd. Usually we need to drink. Yeah, good enough. Bleh. as I can. Catch, dude. Ah! Come on! 
fire! Get down. Bad zombies. Everything's looking good. Cook. Burn, baby, burn, burn. Hey, you ain't dead? Oh, you dead now. Stinking dogs. Okay, this is about broken. I don't think I picked up any. No. Hope I may, might have picked up a bot uh, thing, but... No such luck. Oh, that's beautiful. They all healed right over. That looks good. Try to get rid of some of this extra 9mm ammo. I'll end up having multiple stacks by the end, so it isn't like it's being wasted. Got more than I'll ever use. Oops. Wow, some of those actually could have hit. Would have been nice. Reload while we wait for some more to gather up. Yep, yep. Once again, Molotov saved the day. I'm telling you, on the one hand, Molotovs are not overpowered. On the other hand, they're completely overpowered. I mean, I know people don't like that they take 300 gas. And don't get me wrong, that's a lot of gas, but... When one single Molotov can kill, like, roughly 10-plus zombies... Normal ones, not feral or anything, but... That's pretty darn good. That's a pretty good return on investment, if you ask me. That'd be like killing 10 zombies with a single bullet. It just, no, that's not going to happen. Even if you want to be gen uh, generous and say, well, one bullet costs a lot more than, like, one Molotov, I'll give you 10 bullets. Are you going to kill 10 zombies with 10 bullets? Eh, maybe, but not likely. You have to have some serious penetration and maybe a sniper rifle. But... Get down. Well, I honestly think that yeah, the return on investment's pretty good. Besides, it isn't like gas is hard to make, even with the nerfs they made in Alpha 21 to gas production. Used to be a 1 to 10. One shale was 10 gas. Now it's a 1 to 2. It's one shale, two gas. I mean, don't get me wrong, that nerf really hurts, but it's not as bad as some people make it out to be. I've seen a great many YouTubers that never even, like, farm for oil shale. They just live off the gas they get for the gyro and everything just from wrenching cars. Oh, that's really low. See, see run my little mouth. And <laughs> almost paid. Oh, you... Oh, you thought you were going to trick me. Wrong. Down, George. Oh, looks like it. I did. I re reloaded it right after it burst.
I didn't. I don't think I made a single Molotov that I've used. I think I looted them all and bought the last. Was it like 19 that I bought? Get down. Ooh, oh, I see a hand. That it? Ooh, they almost got through that. Not bad, not bad. Oops, I'll... No, not drop a chick. We're gonna quick loot these things and then check them when we put them in the box. Maybe we'll get a. I want to say pole. An iron pipe. That's the word pipe. Jeez. Okay, so we got sawed off schematic, iron shovel. We don't need. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Shotgun weekly. We don't need that. Another vehicle. Yes. And a crap of that. And. Did they mess up my garden? Nope, everything's still planted. I'm not worried about grabbing anything since I want everything to kind of grow at the same rate. We can take down these so they don't call screamers. Yeah, this all has to be dealt with eventually. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty pleased with that. that. That worked about what I was... Actually, I did genuinely expect them to get through the first through here, but you know what? Happy man, I'm not going to complain. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take all of this. We are going to leave a little bit of this. Uh, We'll come back. We'll come back for that. See? All this didn't even need it. That's okay. You guys should know me well enough by now to know that I would much rather be over-prepared than under. This. I love the Cripplum, but I think we're not going to be running any, into any radiated, but I think I'd still rather have the radiated. Odd. All right. Let's see. Back all this stuff and all this stuff and this and this and all that. Components. Right. There's no. That, that, that. It's a shame you can't put a cripple and mod on anything like the melee weapons, but you don't really need them on the melee weapons, truthfully. Better is this? Oh, better. oh it's way better. Alright, well. Works for me. Yes, I can. Right, I forgot. That's every and ran. We got four more of the there. Now I'm not encumbered, which is always nice. Yeah, I like this way better. The reason I didn't take these out yet, yeah, that's why. <laughs> 10,000 hit points, yeah, I'll, uh, I had to take out a couple of 10,000 hit point items. It wasn't too bad, but it was, uh, more annoying than not. And the reason I'm leaving the forged iron up there is to repair, repair the doors in the future. So I don't have to run all the way back down here.
10 more minutes. Go. All right, guys, that is going to do for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and, of course, the series. There's a lot, and I do mean a lot more to come. We're only on day 15. we got lots more time. So, with that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you are and have, feel free to leave a like and or subscribe. And, of course, as always, I will see you all in the next episode.